when we invest in anything, equipment, software, you know, we, we look at the ROI, but we also look at, will it make us more efficient? You know, we're always, you know, we've got a lot of drilling machines. So yeah, it's, you could walk up to the machine, pull up programs manually, but we try to barcode things so that our employees don't have to think about what program or hit the wrong key. You know, we want to want it to be barcoded so that it's easy for the operators. You know, so that leads into being more efficient, getting more throughput out of that machine. Yeah, so what MMR has really done for us is it's given us the ability to, I think, understand distinctions about our environment that we really wouldn't have without. I look at MMR almost as like an employee who does really good record keeping. And we can go back historically and look and say, okay, on Tuesday of, you know, January 1st, the first week in January, how did we perform? What, were our, what was our performance? How long did we idle? Or how many parts did we process that day? And we can act, and then looking at an average for over the year, like how many parts am I really processing as a company? You know, am I doing 500 parts a week? Am I doing 2,000 parts a week? Because that's a big difference, you know? You know, we got into the MES software, which is part of helping to operate the plant and we got into the 3D configurator software which is how we engineer a library that is uh, usable by our customers as well. So now our customers are doing the designs at their PC or in front of the customer and when they get done with it they click a button and it shows up here and it gets moved automatically into the MES system and pushed out to the shop and literally you can have a job go from the, the design stage when it's done to 30 seconds later it can be out on the line. Jobs that we engineered this morning are going on the pallet and shipping out today.